The following program may contain elements not suitable for all ages. Performances are conducted by trained professionals. Viewer discretion is advised. W Evolved. It's a special jam-packed, star-studded affair. In our opening contest, Bulldog Brandon Hines goes one-on-one -on -one with the international sensation and the last real man, Silas Young. Then, in our main event, WWE legend, badass Billy Gunn goes one-on-one -on -one with the wild thing, Tony King. Stay tuned for this and more on NEW Evolved. All right, fans, welcome to NEW Evolved, and here today we've got a real treat as the last real man, Silas Young, Ring of Honor and New Japan wrestling star, battles our own bulldog, Brandon Hines, and this one is going to be one for the record books. I can predict it here, and again, I'm absolutely elated, feeling a little under the weather after that big party we had celebrating that tag title win, but you know how to show a guy a good time. Thank you. Uh, I was very happy that you were able to attend, Mr. Winters, and also very cool of our NEW champion, Steve Arstow, to make an appearance at the party as well. It was a glorious time, I can't lie. The thoroughbred on the dance floor? Oh, Woo! my goodness. Woo! But enough about a party. These peons will never get invited to one, so we don't need to talk about no, it. No, that's true. That's right? true. That only breeds jealousy. Let's talk about the task at hand. Bulldog Brandon Hines gets the opportunity of his career as he goes one-on-one -on -one with Silas Young. Silas Young, certainly a veteran, a veteran of the Mac games. He's been all around the world. He's been everywhere. And Bulldog Brandon Hines is going to have to really bring it to the table today if he wants to survive. And here we go, Silas Young. It's not very often we get to see somebody who can match power for power with Bulldog Brandon Hines. Although being short in stature, his power game is just unprecedented here, and Silas Young is doing exactly that. It's going to be interesting as they trade shoulder tackles to see who's going to make that crucial mistake that will allow the other person to capitalize. Impressive hip toss there from Bulldog Brandon Hines, and we see that power you were mentioning able to get Silas up and over, and Silas cuts him off right away. The last real man going to show Bulldog Brandon Hines what it's all about. And now they're trading chops in the corner. And I love the fact that Justin Cricket is standing back and just letting this happen. Just letting it happen. No knows... mandatory five counts. Let's, let's let these two guys just work it out. That's true. The fans have been dying for this matchup here in NEW. And we've given it to them. I give kudos to the office for making it happen. Quite honestly, this match has been as highly intense. Oh, my God. That beautiful power slam from Bulldog comes up short as it's only a two count but now he's again averts his attention talking to those peons and goes for a cannonball and nobody home you can't take any time gloating or showboating to these people who don't care about you when you're in the ring with the last real man that's true you can't his experience says it all he's been everywhere you just can't give a man like that these opportunities despite that beautiful power slam. Very impressive from Bulldog Brandon Hines. Looking to give the showing of a lifetime here today. So far, I'm very impressed with the... Oh, my goodness. And he just jams Bulldog's hand close to his knee and just drives his face clean into it with a big stomp. That had to have hurt. And you can see the effects. Bulldog is teetering a little bit, I think, Mr. Winters. He is certainly worse for wear as he gets whipped into the buckle and you see the whiplash there just brings him down to the canvas going to see a cover here and only a two count bulldog able to escape referee justin prickard letting silas know it's a two count and this is one thing that silas young needs to actually realize is that bulldog brandon hines is one of the toughest competitors on the new evolution wrestling roster and this is why he was chosen specifically to go one-on-one -on -one with silas young certainly and bulldog 
positive showing here so far, but uh, certainly Silas looking to wear him down. Has him on the ground here with the side headlock. Just trying to bring him down, slow things down here so we can uh, regain more of an advantage. A couple of fists to the stomach there now. Silas follows him in and pushes, literally just pushes him out of the ring. Unique maneuver there from Silas Young showing his experience. Dumps Bulldog straight to the floor with a hard crash. Unconventional, but very effective. And now this match is going to go on the outside. And I just wanted to take a quick second to say, Mr. Winters, I absolutely loved my birthday present. I hope you noticed that I was wearing it at ringside I did. last week. I did. It brought a tear to my eye to see you wear that out there to show all the fans that gorgeous new hat. That was fantastic. And here's... Speaking of gorgeous, what an absolutely great slingshot back into the ring. Devastating double foot stop there, taking everything out of Bulldog Brandon Hahn. Silas needs to stop wasting time. He can't take the Bulldog lightly. And here we go now. Oh. Bit of a nonchalant cover there by Silas. It, I think Silas Young is starting to realize it's going to take a little bit more than that to put him to put Bulldog away. You see Bulldog making his way to his feet. Oh, he ducks the clothesline. Vicious backbreaker and a follow-up clothesline. Absolutely decapitating Bulldog Brandon Hines. There's a one, two. Narrowly escapes the Bulldog does there. What does Silas Young have to do this afternoon to put Bulldog away? Or an even better question, what does Bulldog have to do to get back in this fight with the last real man? Silas certainly hitting all of his marquee offense here, unable to put the Bulldog away, and he picks him up once again. Lifts him up, showing his power gain. This is going to be devastating here. Fireman Not carry. Fire. Oh, Bulldog slipped off. A couple of quick shots. Duck. Flatliner oh. nailing Silas Young, and that's the, that's the break Bulldog needed. He needed to get his wind. He needed to catch his wind and get back on his feet. I definitely agree with you, Mr. Winters. He needed to create some separation there, get his get his breath back. See, and this is where he's wasting time again, like you said earlier. He needs a man like you out there to guide him so he avoids doing these things, but he crushes Silas Young in the corner with that with that cannonball move. And one, two, and Silas barely escapes. And now Silas Young is the one showing everybody in the CLB his resilience today. Certainly just manages to kick out of that one there. Look at the pain in Bulldog's face as he's trying to get up. He's really, really gone through some very heavy punishment in the past several minutes. I'm starting to wonder, will he actually be able to capitalize on this opportunity? And if he does, he's going to have to do it quick. You do not get many opportunities like this against Silas Young. Scoops him up. Silas with the goal behind. Smartly exits the ring. Looks like he needs more of a break. That's right. I mean, all he wants is a little break. That's it. And he, there is a tank count. And the Bulldog needs to understand that. He needs to back up and let him back in the ring. The official needs to get him back in the ring. This should be uh, should be handled, and it isn't. And as you see, they're brawling in the aisleway there. And there we go. Oh, Bulldog fires back on Silas Young. Dumps him back in the ring, because that's where you need to be to win. What's this going to be now? And here we go. Oh, again, pandering to the peons. And a roll Didn't up. Pay off. That might be it. Oh, and the Bulldog barely oh. escapes. Narrow escape. And this is why we always say, Todd, keep your eyes on the prize. And now, very uncharacteristic of Silas Young to argue with the referee and take his eyes off his competitor. Right? This is going to give Brandon some much-needed time to recompose himself. The Bulldog. Stalking. Oh, he's got... That Ooh, high and tight there with that Michinoku driver. One, two, and a foot on the rope. Great wow. awareness of Silas Young. Unbelievable here today on Evolve, this contest. Back and forth, back and forth. The Bulldog putting in the showing of a lifetime. And Silas, ring awareness present there. Just able to get his foot on the bottom rope to break that pinfall. And that's, fan that's great for him because I honestly don't think that he would have been able to kick out had that maneuver happened in the center of the ring. Yeah, the Bulldog should have showed his ring awareness and pulled him into the center of the ring. But I guess it didn't happen that way, and Silas was able to escape. And now the Bulldog, I feel, maybe wasting a bit of time. He's pandering to the fans a little bit too much, and you just can't do that with Silas Young. This showboating has got to stop. He has had an opportunity to put Silas away now for far too long. 
He should have capitalized on it. And look, there we go, that Swanton bomb. We seen it a couple of weeks ago when he wrestled TJ Taylor, and he missed it then, and he's going to miss it now. The difference is Silas is going to make him pay for it. They're rolling. Devastating oh. fireman carry. What's this here? Silas working his way up to the terminal. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. That's got to be it. It was a handstand into a springboard moonsault. And that's it. And Kudos to Bulldog Brandon Hines for the effort, but he just wasn't able to defeat the last real man, Silas Young. At the end of the day, the Bulldog put up a great fight, Todd, but Silas Young managed to put down the Bulldog. You know what? I'm sick and tired of being overlooked by the office, sick and tired of being disrespected by the fans. Something has got to be done. So, NEW office, I'm going to challenge you to find me something that's worth sinking my teeth into. Something big. Give it to me. Because kings, when they shine at their full potential, take the thrones on top of everything. NEW office, give me what you got. Get the hell out of my face. You're gonna witness me destroy a legend and take my place on top of this company. Each and every one of you will bow down to the king. I just want to say, just before I get started, I thought this shirt was kind of cool, but your shirt has it hands down. The Tony Sucks thing is awesome. Right there. 
Yes. Feel free to make some noise and say this really, really loud. Hey, if you're not down with me whipping Tony's ass, I got two words for you. Oh my God, Todd Winters, Billy Gunn is in New Evolution Wrestling and he's taking on the King of Kings, Wild Thing, Tony King. And I guess you heard Tony say earlier in his message to the NEW office that he wanted some competition, something he could sink his teeth into. Well, uh, sometimes you gotta be careful what you ask for because now he's got that WWE veteran, been all around the globe wrestling everywhere in our jam-packed All-Star episode today. Billy Gunn. Billy Gunn is here. And I, I agree with you, Mr. Winters. This is executive producer Mike Barrington. And normally I'd commend him for getting such a talent to come to Newfoundland, to come to New Evolution Wrestling. But this is him trying to teach Tony King a lesson about be careful what you wish for because you just may get it. And look at the size difference here. Billy Gunn certainly towers over the Wild Thing, so the Wild Thing's going to have to come up with some innovative offense if he wants to uh, come out the victor here today. Well, we've always seen Tony in situations where he may not always be the biggest dog in the fight, and he's come out victorious. Take a look back a couple of weeks ago when he went one-on-one -on -one with Titus. I believe he's going to have to employ the exact same strategy. Take a knee out from underneath the veteran. And work on it, expose it and just eventually lead to the point where Billy Gunn won't have, an, uh, he'll have no other option but to take. This is why I like having you out here, Mr. Business. We think the same way. And certainly that's what Tony King's gonna have to do. It worked well against Titus, but will it work well against Billy Gunn? We'll have to wait and see. And Tony is uncharacteristically hesitant to make contact with Billy Gunn, maybe possibly even a little bit intimidated. Oh, come on, now that's just disrespectful. It's not fair. He's being constantly disrespected, as we said last time. Titus had it in spades, and now Billy Gunn seems to be continuing the train. Look, we get the fact that you are much taller than Tony King, but you don't have to make practical jokes at the man's expense. What are you, some kind of degenerate? Certainly. Well, well put, John Biz, and we see here I don't really know if this is going to be much of a contest. Tony needs to choose a smarter game plan. This was something of strength. This is what happens when you are goaded into doing something that doesn't go with your game plan. And Tony is smart enough to understand that trying to match power with Billy Gunn is a horrible idea. Certainly, I don't know what he was thinking here, but a lovely shot to the breadbasket and a vicious right hand, and he's starting to work over the WWE legend. He got out of it quickly with that with that kick to the stomach, and now this is what he's going to have to do. In the immortal words of Paul Heyman, he is going to have to be elusive and abusive this afternoon Certainly. in order to come out victorious. That is correct. And Billy Gunn crushes him in the corner and goes to pick him up for what's going to be a looks like a vertical suplex here. This Tony is trying to fight it off. Man, the last time Tony was up that high, they offered him peanuts halfway through the flight. Certainly, he's taking a flight here. Billy Gunn just toying with him, holding him in the air. Look, that's got to be super disorienting. All the blood rushing to your head. And you still know at the end of this, 
where you're going. There's only one place for him to go, and that is down. Oh, my God. That is vicious, and you can see he's taking everything out of the wall. I think he needs to roll out of the ring and regroup. And Billy Gunn uh, certainly letting him know what he thinks there. Only a two count. Well, Tony manages to kick out once again. For everything that people say that Tony is, people seem to forget how tough he actually is. A great strategist. One of the best technicians in Newfoundland wrestling history. But that guy is as tough as it comes. And when it comes to a fight, he will not back away from it. No, it certainly fits the bill. And we'll be right back with more of this fantastic contest on NEW Evolved. And we are back as Tony King, oh my goodness. During the commercial break, Tony King was actually going to take a walk. He realized that he didn't need to be in the ring with Billy Gunn anymore. But <laughs> look at that big fist. He's buckling Tony's neck back and forth here. And Billy Gunn absolutely laying waste to Tony King. This has gotten out of hand. They're outside the ring. They crawled through the confines of the CLB Armory, finally making their way back around. And Tony is just taking the beating of a lifetime. He hasn't been able to get the upper hand as of yet. And look at Justin Crickard. Even Justin Crickard seems apprehensive to force this action to get back in the ring. He does. He certainly does. Intimidated by the presence of Billy Gunn, I would say. Both individuals. Tony hasn't been able to get it on track as of yet. And he takes another vicious shot to the guardrail. Those guardrails are pure steel. But I don't know which one hurts worse. Those big hand bones of Billy Gunn right into the face or getting your face bashed off of those barricades. Certainly, Tony King not having much luck as Billy Gunn makes his rounds just toying with the wild thing here today on NEW Evolved. He oh dumps Tony God. back into the crowd once again. This is out of control. Justin Cricker needs to get this matchup back into the ring where it belongs. Or... This should have been a disqualification or a count out a long time ago. I don't understand. Was this was this billed as a no DQ match? No, it was match? certainly not. And the referee needs to get it back under control. This isn't fair for the Wild Thing Tony King. He hasn't had a chance to regroup. Hasn't had a chance to catch his breath. And they once again make their way through the crowd here at the CLB Armory. The jam-packed crowd, I might add, at the CLB Armory. Now you see them. They're down here by our commentary booth. Where are they going now? Don't let Billy go. He'll take my wallet. Don't let him over here. Right? He's literally parading him around. This is this is so unfair. It's disgraceful. It's disrespectful. He's going to pay for it. And sure enough, the wall thing finally able to capitalize. There we go. That's what happened. Even a great veteran like Billy Gunn, if you pay too much attention to the fans and not enough attention to your, your opponent, this is what happens, especially on the outside. That's right, and Tony King, despite this difference in size, he'll take it to you, and Billy Gunn's about to find that out. Now that he has Billy Gunn down, what do you think Tony King will have to do in order to keep his momentum going and secure a victory this afternoon? I think he's just going to have to keep doing what he's doing right here and just lay waste to Billy Gunn as best he can, lay it all on the table. Look, and here's, again, I'm actually kind of I have to commend Justin Cricker now. For this leeway. For the leeway that I he's agree. Showing. I agree. It, it seems kind of fair. Now. It does. It seems a bit more fair. Yeah. It's it's you know, let's give let's give the NEW fans what they want to see, and that is Wild Thing Tony King beating the tar 
out of Billy Gump. It's definitely what they want to see, and Tony's certainly doing that. Look at that intensity there today as he puts the chokehold on Billy Gunn in the corner. There you go, much like our first match this afternoon with Bulldog Brandon Hines and Silas Young. Tony King realizes what kind of a feather in the cap it is for him if he is able to defeat a future Hall of Famer like Billy Gunn. Certainly, and that's what he's looking like he's on his way to doing here as he wears Billy Gunn down with this chin lock. This, this is all part of a psychological game. This is such a great idea. Take the fans out of the equation. He can't feed off of their energy while he's, and at the same time, doing some much needed damage to the back, cutting off his air supply, and giving Tony an opportunity to regain composure. So you see Billy Gunn slowing down just a little bit here from the attack of Wall. I think Tony King, but he mounts his offense once again and a reversal into the corner. Tony comes in. Big, vicious boot to the face by Billy Gunn. Oh, my God. And, oh, big clothesline. A pair of them. Just mowing Tony down with these clotheslines. Billy is firing up here now. Shoves him into the corner and he goes to the opposite. Comes flying. Big splash into the corner. Things looks are like he's ready to finish him off here. He looks like he's going for the Famouser. Things are not looking good for the Wild Thing, but he gets out. It looks like he's going to go for the kill switch. The finisher of the Wild Thing, boom, kicks to the bread basket and Famouser. Billy Gunn is just too big and too strong for that to happen. This has got to be it. Rolls up the Wild Thing for the three count, and Billy Gunn is victorious today on NEW Evolved over the Wild Thing Tony King. And Tony should really take note to not wish that harm on the NEW office and ask for requests such as this in the future. I think he got a little sidetracked as we see on the replay here. Tony going for that kill switch during the finish. And then it leads right into that famous serve. But, Todd Winters, you had to say that the competition is heating up here in New Evolution Wrestling. You have great champions like Steve Arsenault. The family business. That's true. That's Psycho true. Mitch. We've got to look at the positive side of things right? and sometimes. And now we have great, great competitors showing up here like future Hall of Famer Billy Gunn and the Ring of Honor superstar Silas Young. What's going to happen next? I certainly don't know, Biz, but we're going to have to stay tuned to find out as this jam-packed episode of NEW Evolved on Rogers TV comes to a close here today. As Billy Gunn soaks up the adulation of the fans, we'll see you next time. New Evolution Wrestling would like to thank the following supporters. Greco Pizza, Torbay Road, Adam Tucker Photography, TPI Travel Agent, Kayla Gavin, EJ Cram's Home Hardware, The Hub Printing and Catering, JC's Entertainment.